Hello, Ken Weller here again with the King Rune printer. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this printer and uh, do the bed alignment on it. First of all, the reason that I have purchased some of these King Rune printers is that number one, they are small and compact. I can put multiple printers on one table working in a small area. Number two, they have only a 180 by 180 millimeter uh, build plate. However, all of the parts for the helping hand invention that we're printing uh, fit well within that area. Another thing that I like about this printer so far is uh, it's very easy to assemble. If you look at my first video where I unboxed this and assembled it and everything in less than 10 minutes, it's very easy to assemble. And the alignment video that I had before shows that there's not too much required to get it lined up pretty good. And the other advantage is the power supply. It has a heavy-duty 24-volt power supply which allows the bed and uh, hot head on the extruder to heat up very rapidly. So it doesn't take very long to preheat this printer. So those are some of the uh, advantages. Also the low cost of it uh, are things that I looked at. I've tested these printers with some of the uh, interchanging, interchangeable parts that I'm using in the helping hand and the parts printed on this work well with other interacting parts. So uh, it seems to be doing a pretty good job as far as uh, keeping its precision at least close enough for my work. So. Uh, that's uh, basically the main pros that I have for this printer. Um, the cons, definitely it's a limited work area and if you have larger parts to print you're not going to want to look at this obviously. But let's go ahead and uh, get started on the bed leveling and finish this video. Okay, we're ready to start the bed leveling. We'll turn the power on. And a couple of things with the bed leveling. One is this screw here will adjust the home position for the Z-axis uh, of the printer. So it will sometimes need to be adjusted. Usually what I will do is tighten all of the bed screws down all the way and then put this into a home position and check and see if we are close to um, to the bed. If, we're, if we have a large gap, I'll want to uh, screw this clockwise to get a, a closer proximity to the bed because when I start uh, loosening these adjustment screws on the bed, I don't want them the bed to come up too far and uh, start losing the spring, start losing the spring tension on it. So, uh, We'll check that. Another thing that I forgot to mention in the um, video on alignment, and I'll do it now, I'm going to um, move this z-axis up. There's one more thing that you want to check on your alignment. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention in the alignment video 
that I did previously was to check and make sure that the print head is fits tightly on this uh, track. And as you can see here, there's a little bit of movement in that. And to fix that, we'll go underneath and there's a screw attachment here, a nut that we will turn counterclockwise just slightly and keep moving it just a little bit each time and keep checking that and we're turning it counterclockwise Still movement in it. Feels like it's getting a little bit tighter. Okay, now there's no movement. It feels uh, tight. <laughs> so that adjustment, you need to check that as well as the other uh, alignment things I had in the previous video. Now we're ready to uh, go ahead and do our leveling of the bed. So we'll return back to our main menu. And uh, the second from the left on the bottom here is the leveling option. You push on that button, it will automatically put the position in the home put the printer in the home position and then you'll just take your piece of leveling paper and <clears throat> as soon as it gets in position then I always like to start with the front left corner first so you push this upper left button, which indicates front left, and it will move the head to that position. Now I can check, I'm loose, so I will turn this set screw under here, knob, counterclockwise to allow the bed to rise until I feel resistance and I feel resistance now between the paper <coughs> and the head. Now I always like to go to the uh, right rear next. And same thing here. It's loose, so I'll start Okay, I'm starting to feel, turning that one counterclockwise and feeling some resistance there. Now I'll go to the front right. And counterclockwise with it. Until I start feeling a little bit more. Now I have some resistance there. Now we go to the left rear, or excuse me, the, yeah, the left rear corner, and we'll loosen it. And until we've got about the same amount of resistance that we had on the others. Now we want to go to the front left again because once you level these, as you start adjusting the others, there will be some interaction. This one still feels pretty good. Loosen it just a little. Now I'll go back to that left rear again. I always like to jump diagonally on this adjustment. Now this one's a little too tight, 
So I have to turn my knob clockwise until until it's has just a little bit of resistance. That feels good there. Now we'll go to this front right. Recheck it. And it needs to be loosened just a little bit. That feels good. Now back to the left rear again. I know it's a little tedious, but you do this. That one feels good. Go back to the front right. That one feels good. Right rear. Feels good. So they all feel good without adjustment. Now I'll go to the center position. And feels a little loose, but we have the same equal amount on each corner. So we'll leave it at that. And now our bed's aligned and we're ready to uh, start printing.